In this step, we're going to do a little bit more work with static meshes. We're going to bring in a rock and we're going to get that into our scene. So let's just get stuck in. So the first thing I need to do is get the rock. So again, this is available in the package of stuff that you can get by following the link in the description below. And what I'm going to do is go into my models and textures folder and uh, we're looking in the rocks one. You can see we've got the FBX file, which is your geometry. And there are three types of textures. So we're going to do the geometry first because I'm already looking at that folder. So let's bring in the rock. So there we go. I'm just going to drop that in there. And here are my FBX import options. Again, I'm going to let this auto generate collision. And what we're going to do is um, leave everything else at defaults. So let's click on import. And this is our rock. So we'll double click on this and have a quick look at it. You'll be able to see that it's very simple. I just sculpted this out as quickly as I possibly could in my uh, not a lot of detail, but it is at least nice and low poly. And you can see I've been lazy. I've not named my material. So it was just called Lambert 2 when I had it in Maya. Uh, but we're going to create the rock material and assign that now. So we'll leave that open just over there. And now we need to import the texture. So let's go back to our textures folder. And we're going to import these three textures. Now we're only going to be using for now the diffuse and the normal. The displacement is a different thing altogether which we will probably come back to towards the end of finishing touches uh, it depends how the the exercise is, is working as a whole as to whether or not we do that but we only need the diffuser normal for now but we'll import all three just so we're ready so let's drag these in there we go and they're all imported one two three so let's just minimize that save all yep and we need this rock material to exist now so let's do that so let's go to our materials folder right click new material and this is going to be m underscore rock and then let's open that up and we're going to need two texture samples and a constant for the roughness so i'm holding t left click left click to get a constant expression you can hold one and left click and this is all the ones we need. So let's just select the rock texture. So it's going to be that one there. And then this is going to be the rock normal. Rock underscore N. And we're going to set our roughness to about 0 0.7. And let's plug these into the right places. One, two, and da, 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 three normal and then this is what our rock material is going to look like Ooh, nice okay let's save that bad boy it's <laughs> so exciting there we go right now we can close that we're going to come back into this rock um in the static mesh editor in the static mesh in the static mesh editor Whew. easy for me to say okay so let's do the rock material there are multiple rocks because there are some from the start content i think mine is going to be the top one it is there you go so that looks okay but i'm not actually massively enamored with the way that i have placed the texture i could do better so what we're going to do is add a bit of tiling to that let's go back into the material for the rock And we're going to create a texture coordinate node. We're going to plug this into the UVs for both of these. And we're just going to tile this a couple of times. So we'll put two, oh, not 22, two in both of these boxes. And we'll save that. And what that will do is the tileable texture I'm using. It'll just make everything look a bit more high definition. We don't want it to look stretched. There you go. So even on this preview there, it already looks better. If we go into the rock, that's much nicer. You might even decide that you want to tile that three times uh, or even four. Whatever you think looks good. I'm going to leave it at two for now because that will do it. So then we will save that. Lovely. And we can now set about putting some of these rocks in our level. So what I'm going to do is just 
add just a couple. I'm going to put them kind of to the side of the cabin here. So let's go to our geometry folder. Let's get our rock. And you can see that kind of by default, it wants to sit on top of the ground. But I don't think that looks particularly good or natural. I think rocks look a bit better if they're just sort of half buried. So what I'm going to do is drag that down like that. So you'll be surprised at um, how much clipping there is um, through geometry in games. Uh, it can hide a lot. And one really cool way to create, so we've only got one rock, uh, which means we can't add that much variety, but we can create other rocks out of this one rock. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm gonna do that by holding Alt on my keyboard. There we go. And if I left click on a direction, it'll just like allow me to drag a copy out of it. What about that, I'm like a wizard. Okay. So then I'm going to scale it down a little bit and probably just bring it out of the ground. I'll rotate it around some, uh, put it on a, a funny angle, I think, like that. And then I'm just going to have this sort of become part of this rock, so it'll just kind of stick out of it. Like that. And you can see that that now, it's not ace, but it adds a little bit of extra detail, a little bit of variety to, to that rock. So I'm just gonna add one more copy of this. So Alt and drag again, just to try and add a bit of something. So I'll put this one over here. Uh, let's rotate it around like that. We'll change the scale of this one slightly. Let's make it a bit longer. And we'll have this kind of poking out just a touch. Let's rotate this around like that. Okay, and we'll just bring it into the rock on that side. So you can create more interesting rock formations by doing that. So what I would say to you now is go through and create a few interesting rock formations. Two, three, four, something like that. Place them around your level. It'll add that extra little bit of detail. The best place to add these rock formations is up where the terrain is rockier anyway. But don't go crazy with it because we're actually going to use the foliage tool later to throw a lot more of these rocks around quickly. So put a few in by hand, make it look ace, and then we will add extra detailed rocks later um, using the foliage tool. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to do one more static mesh step. We're going to bring in kind of the wood for the fire. I'm going to create like a fireplace using some more rocks. And that will then tie up the kind of introduction to static mesh section and we can start playing with foliage okay see you in the next vid thanks for watching if you really want to take your learning further than i can cover in this series then i highly recommend checking out plural site they have loads of really detailed video courses covering game art and game development using unreal engine 4 when i learned how to use unreal a couple of years ago this is where i went and i log in regularly to take a new course and improve my skills i recommend checking out the introduction to unreal engine 4 course by joshua kinney this is really good and offers a good overview of what you can do in Unreal. You can get a free 10 day trial by using my link in the video description and you get full access to all of their courses for that time. At the end of your 10 days you can either subscribe for more or cancel, totally up to you. It's got to be worth a free trial though right? I'd like to say a massive thank you to my patrons. Your support helps me to keep making videos like this one and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It really blows my mind that people will support my channel and my work by pledging their money through Patreon. So again, thank you all so, so much. If you aren't already a patron and you'd like to offer your support, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.